What's up guys? This is Kent and um oh shoot my friend Bronco fan. I was gonna talk about the Broncos now. Cause Brandon thinks so funny and cool, but maybe he was just an asshole. Who is always Oh uh, guys, sorry about that. He said because Brendan thinks he's all funny. Cool, but really he is just a asshole who is always kissing teachers asses. That's right. Sorry, Brendan, if you're uh, watching this, but um, that's what Sam says. That's right, better. Ooh, right there. <clears throat> so, uh, go back to the thing. Loading. NFL model. Fire Verizon. Watch this. Watch this, guys. Oh, shoot. Sorry, it's a drop. Hold on, guys. Can't you hear? Loading. More pages per cartridge, so you can dive deeper into each business victory. It's an ad. Choose original HP Yay. That's so cool, right? Some breaking news here on NFL it's Network. A... No, not the minor Broncos roster moves, although they did make some moves today, but we have this. That's so John Elway right there. Not exactly a shocker. We knew they would get something done, and now Ian Rappaport says that they have. And that That's is the Broncos a new extension, stadium. a new deal in place for general manager John Elway, one of the few men, Ozzie Newsom, perhaps another one, who could one day argue you could put him in the Pro Football Hall of Fame not only for his work on the field, but his work in the front office as well. John Elway has a new extension. Ian Rappaport has that story for you, and he is live with us here on Inside Training Camp, brought to you by Mitsubishi Motors. Ian, what do we know? Dang. First of all, we know it is a new five-year deal for John Elway rather than simply just a four-year extension. Obviously, monetarily, that is a big deal for him. So it is through 2021. The Broncos and Joe Ellis, their top executive right now, have been working toward getting this done before the start of training camp. And this is something that obviously was a no-brainer for the Denver Broncos, something they always thought was going to get done, wanted to get, wanted to get done. And when things ramped up uh, early last week, it became clear that it was all headed in the right direction for John Elway and for the Denver Broncos. Now they get the deal done, agreement in place, expected to be signed soon. John Elway remained with the Broncos, not that he was going anywhere, but obviously uh, richly rewarded for the job he has done as an executive in Denver. You're right. No one thought that they wouldn't do this deal, but it has been interesting to follow the last couple of months because any Broncos press availability there was, people would ask, and there really wasn't that much of an answer. Ian, was this a difficult negotiation? Because I think people thought it would be done a while ago. Yeah, people did, and you're right, there were a couple of different things to discuss, but really, Andrew, it's no different from any negotiation, whereas it's simply there's a, a time and place to handle these things, and obviously, you go up to the start of training camp, that's when a lot of these deals get done, you like to start training camp with some good news and maybe some momentum, you see it every year for some teams, and, and for the Broncos, there were things to discuss, obviously, negotiations going on monetarily and otherwise, but it remains now, John Elway still the top football executive for the Denver Broncos, and yes. considering what he has done, what he took over, the Super Bowl victory and all that, he has been rewarded just a couple minutes ago um, for everything seven. he has done, and obviously the Broncos hope that it continues long into the future through 
2021 at least. John Elway in that front office since 2011, Ian, 67 and 29. I know we don't have the numbers yet, but I'd have to assume, I know you shouldn't assume nor speculate, that he is among now the highest paid GMs in the league. Yes, I, I would say that is a very, a very obvious assumption, yes. Love how I, I just made you assume, right? That's Ian Rappaport, who at the News, our NFL Network insider, the John Elway does have a brand new deal to stay on. So, that was, uh, <clears throat> that was, so that was the video, guys. Uh, see. Broncos away reach agreement, a new deal. Uh, it says, oh, shoot. Sorry guys. Sorry guys. I dropped you again. Oh, I like hold you. Think. I don't know. The Denver Broncos have rewarded executive vice president of football operations, general manager John Elway with a new contract. Yes. Oh shit. Two sides have reached an agreement on a new five-year deal that will keep LA in Denver through the 2021 season. The team announced on Monday, although details have yet to be released, LA is expected <coughs> to become the NFL's highest paid general manager. During these last six seasons, John clearly established himself as one of the best general managers in all of sports. President and CEO Joe, Joe Ellis said in a statement released the Bron by the Broncos, he's demonstrated impressive football instincts, a strong business acumen, <clears throat> and a consistent ability to build competitive teams. Denver has dominated <coughs> sorry guys. Denver has dominated the AFC West since Elway assumed control of football operations in 2011, generating a gaudy 67 to 29 record with a pair of Super Bowl appearances, five division titles, only the Patriots, 781 winning percentage. Best the Broncos. I hate the Patriots. Sorry guys, don't get mad at me. But they won the Super Bowl. Alright. Best the Broncos. Point. 698 mark over that span. <clears throat> Elway's importance to the Broncos organization cannot be overstated. As a Hall of Fame quarterback, he guided the franchise of its first two Lombardi trophies. As an executive, he brilliantly constructed a team that triumphed over the Panthers in Super Bowl 50. I appreciate the trust and confidence that Joe has shown in me, Elway said Monday. <clears throat> Via the team's official website, Pat Boren, yes, has always put outstanding leadership in place, and I'm grateful for the support Joe gives us to compete for championships each and every year. Oh, there's not a video, guys. You want to watch it? Keep dropping this. I think that, and I'm going to ask you guys if you think we might be sleeping on them, are the Broncos. 
Yes, yeah, we 100%. love the AFC West, and it's the toughest division. I was going to pick the sexiest one to talk about. And, and the reason that we aren't giving them the love Two here minutes. is because of the quarterback situation, right? So maybe it's whoever wins it, whether it's Simeon or whether it's Paxton Lynch, given the fact that the defense is still really Let's good. Go and they were just one step away, right, from being in the playoffs last year. They just they missed a wild card very, you know, by a, a, a short amount there. Right. Maybe the fact that you do have Mike McCoy uh, there, who did one, like, worked wonders with Tim Tebow and then Peyton Manning as well. Well, maybe it doesn't matter who wins out. They, Ooh, they're the ones that are going to go deep, but nobody's is. talking about them. There's some tumult in Kansas City, whether it's the front office oh, yeah. or on the field. Uh, the Chargers, we love to give them love as being it, but can they go all the way? I don't know. Is the defense good enough to carry them? Mm, I think they are. I think the starting quarterback is Von Miller. I mean, I, 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 <laughs> we were talking about this discussion in pre-production. I was like, oh, maybe Denver. I'm, I'm going to stick with Colts, but I love Denver. Yeah. I don't care what division they're in. They, their defense, Talib and Harris's corners are lights out. What did Andre Reid say, though? Tyrod Taylor, nice player, but it's a quarterback's league. Kay, you said it. Yeah. I, when you have Paxton Lynch and Trevor Simeon and we're walking into July for the second straight year and we don't know who the quarterback is, I can't put my name behind That him. doesn't matter to me. I, I remember when a couple weeks ago we had this conversation about the Broncos. I said, Von Miller is the only guy on defense that can take his team to the Super Bowl and win it. And he proved that the year they won the Super Bowl. And we keep talking about the quarterback <clears> conversation <throat> and the pressures on these two guys. Who's it going to be, Simeon or Lynch? Who cares? All they have to do is go out there and play better than Peyton Manning. All due respect to Peyton. But his last year when he won the Super Bowl, he played Terrible. Nah, AFC Championship game. AFC Championship game. I'm talking about. I'm talking about. I'm talking about the season or the collection of games during the season. He played right when he needed to. But if you're looking at these two young quarterbacks saying, "Listen, I need you to take care of the ball. This defense will carry us." All you need to do is put us in position to win the game they in the fourth quarter. The pieces are there. They improve the offensive line. The quarterback, it is, it's, it's going to be fascinating to watch this play out. Awesome story. Nine and seven the pressure's on the defense. Year. They're this, they're this close. It's like all they need, the little thing they need is that most I know. important. Those Raiders and Chiefs are so good, too, and I love the Chargers. Tough division. Mm -hmm. Tough division. You're right. They're overlooked, though. We're not talking about them. No. I, but I think it's obviously because of the quarterback play that's something we're going to be watching starting today. Uh, that was a good video, I guess. Uh, let's go back. If I can. Yes, I can. <coughs> let's continue the reading. This is a special place, and the Broncos are home to me. While there's still a lot of work to be done, I'm excited about the future of this team and this organization. Upon joining the Broncos front office, L.A. began his impressive run with a stroke of pure brilliance, landing Peyton Manning as the biggest free agency fifth <coughs> of the 21st century. Since then, he has emerged as perhaps the game's greatest record recruiter, luring pro bowl talents such as Demarcus Ware, I'm missing Edgar Talib, I thought of uh, Crabtree runs, and TJ Watt, TJ Ward, he's cool, Manuel Sanders to Denver. Yes. In addition to the free agent holes, he <clears throat> has also drafted Super Bowl 50 MVP Vaughn Miller, he's my best player, and signed valuable college free agents such as Chris Harris Jr. and CJ Anderson. The greatest asset in Broncos history, LA has become cinema, syn synonymous with the city of Denver, along with Ravens. Ooh, Ravens fans. General Manager Ozo uh, <coughs> Ozzy Newsome. I bet you know him, Ravens. He's a strong candidate to ultimately gain a Hall of Fame <coughs> honors as both a player and an executive. Nine. Damn, bro. So, uh, yeah, yeah. So, as that means, John Elway is going to be with the Broncos again, the manager, uh, to, uh, uh, let's see, 17, oh shoot. 17 
plus five equals thirteen plus five equals twenty two. So that means twenty twenty two. I think they're a little bit long because it says 17 plus 5 equals 22. So, let's get out of there. So, in 2022, yes, end. So, that's a great thing. Uh, I hope you like this video. 2021 is the day I graduate high school for most of mostly but uh, sometimes it changes but I hope it doesn't change no guys I want to go to college I'm gonna uh, enter try to enter uh, football or basketball next year on my uh, trial for basketball this year. I'm in a marching band, which works as football. It gets the hot and sexy uh, cheerleaders. I hope my ex isn't there, but yeah, that. I hope you like it video. It was kind of boring, but I just needed to uh, tell you the news. <coughs> John Elway's cool. He was a uh, top when he was in. See. John Elway. John Elway. Baby, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> you retired in nineteen ninety nine, when did? When did John L.A. start? Born in June 28, 1960 in Port Angeles, Washington. <coughs> yes, he looks like a Washington dude. Uh, John Elway was selected with the first pick in 1983 NFL draft. A strong armed quarterback went on to earn nine Pro Bowl selections <coughs> and appeared in five Super Bowls for the Denver Broncos, winning in two of them. So, uh, he entered in 1983. And he retired in 1999. Uh, it was good that time. <clears throat> Start. Managing. <clears throat> On May 2nd, at the age of 38, L.A. announced his retirement from, from professional football. L.A. is regarded as one of the top quarterbacks ever to play the game. That's not what I wanted to, wanted to ask, but... Not on. <clears throat> uh, 
uh, his working hours were 3,407, his passing hours 51,475, completion percentage 56.9%, rushing touchdowns 33, okay. So, uh, 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 guys, I hope you like this video, <clears throat> um, I talked a lot, Broncos are my favorite team, uh, Frank Trip Parker was the first Broncos. He was good. I like him. John Owen. I like him. Uh, um, Frank Trip Parker's number was number 18, I think. And uh, John Owen, 17, Peyton Manning, 18. Uh, I used to like the Marcus Ware. Retired, was in Cowboys. Cowboys are my second team. And right now, MVP Von Miller is my favorite team. And yeah, guys, I hope you like this video. Please subscribe and like. Hold on.